Hi, my name is Cedar Taco, and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. Uh, we are about to... What is this? Okay, sorry. Oh, that looks good. Good, good. We're about to break what into Farog Singh, his Whoa. home place. It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sample, what is this? I fucking huh? knew it. Sample? Oh, fucking where asshole. Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't I the first I knew he time. was gonna do that. Uh, it's hi. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for his Varog detected. Hi. To call initiating, scanning, verifying. <gasps> Who's a good boy? <laughs> Who's a good boy? Here's our certification. We just want to see your master. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. Sounded good How in my head. How is that gonna improve our chances? I don't know. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. I thought it was gonna work. Request rejected. Why do you say it was sass? Access permissions from Miss Clara. Oh, we could do that. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Uh, she's Farag's family. Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy mm. core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. We just I came from there. Usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? I wouldn't call it sightseeing, March, uh, but it wasn't sure. as fun as you think. <clears throat> we should go and find Clara. Clara. I don't know why I keep saying Clara. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarog's not going anywhere. Well, uh, This is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said uh -huh. she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. God damn it. Nope. I don't want to fight you. I just want to play story. I just want to do things. Alright. Uh oh. What Isn't was his name? The robot that was following Clara around? Perkins. Perkins, no! Can openers all look the same. Sorry. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Perkins! Listen. Talk to me! Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Perkins. Clara in danger. Well, that's not good. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be eliminated. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Yep. Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. We gotta go. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and we check We gotta go. I know the way. We gotta go. Sorry. Hmm. Whoa. 
Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. We got this. Get away from her. She's adorable and I love her. Move carefully. Knock that shit off, bro. Bad. Bad fragmentum. You good? Are you okay, Clara? Baby are girl, hurt? are you okay? She's so tiny Thanks, and adorable everyone. and I love her. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. Can I adopt her? She's mine now. You shouldn't be running around by <laughs> yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. We were... <clears throat> we were just about to pay him a visit. Huh? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him, face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Svarg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too you long. You need to relax. This time, we have to see him. They're gonna scare her off. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here. But Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid. Sila, <laughs> for the love of God. Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization. Can we leave Sheila behind while we go talk to him? We have the same wish. I don't trust her to relax. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarag thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. If we can his stop the Stellaron, though. The Underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? Why don't we think of another way? Like, I don't want to threaten her. I'm always her. trying to convince Mr. Svarog. Please give me more time. We don't have more time, Clara. Um, <laughs> if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara, please. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young yeah. and yet so stubborn? No. Intelligent? Mature, perhaps? Oh, she's incisive. I don't know if mature determined. is the right word. She's kind of naive a little bit. In sharp contrast to you, March. <laughs> Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. <clears throat> if we can't even persuade Clara, is there any other way? If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Well, then... Mm, isn't a 
robot shoulder cold to begin with? Yes, March, but that- Clara mentioned Sparrock's calculation results many times. Yeah, maybe we just have to prove his calculations wrong. The strength wrong. of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Sparrog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly <laughs> unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Oh yeah, us. We need him to recognize our value. Hmm. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation. And we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? Not this time, March. <laughs> there's always a way. But first, I'm sure we there's have something we can Clara. beat up. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. All right. I'm glad it teleports you back. <laughs> she turned that way. Quick. Clara. Clara. Hold on. Keep at it. Keep at it. Hey. Right. Hold on. Ha. Oh. Well. Um. I know she went that way. I just want to look around. I appreciate that there's no sta stamina in this game. Clara. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. <laughs> ha. Don't worry, March. I have a magical little dot on my screen, my vision, that tells me which way to go. I see her. No, I wanna fight. Hi. Hmm. Why won't it? Can we talk? Oh, I can't figure it out. Hi. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You're the un <clears throat> you're the underground's only hope. You keep saying that, but are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack. Huh? How did you know? We could hear you muttering to yourself. The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out. Sorry, hit my mic. Right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarlog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You give a lot of thought to others. <sighs> you know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. See you uh, Relax. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers. But the bearing is causing a Sila. jam. Why do I keep saying Sila? There's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. Uh, Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? <laughs> Less asking, more helping. All right. <clears throat> I can't move that one, right? Are you sure? Oh, 
that was so easy. That's how it... Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... <clears throat> We're not trying to win you over. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. She's if so cute. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Hmm. No. She knows the present situation. Point out the variable. What do you mean by that? The variable is... Yeah. Our arrival! No <coughs> outsiders set foot in the underground for over a decade! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well... Uh... You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off. Oh, wow. I think. <clears throat> Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silver Mane guard down here now. Is that <coughs> part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Um... <clears throat> Might as well tell her. I think she'd believe us. Not even from this planet. There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. I'm not. These are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't. No, don't say that. <clears throat> They're not made up. Hey. She and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya. Do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she... And she? They are the new hope this world has been waiting for. <laughs> let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying. Right? Mm. Come on. <laughs> we will bring change to this world. I. <sighs> okay. Fuck yeah. I'll take you to. To be fair, Mr. I don't Spock. think there was any way I could have lost that, but like, really? still. <laughs> awesome. Let me feel good about mm. myself. I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince <laughs> Mr. Svarog, then... I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Yay! Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. All right, let's go. Hi. I'm back, Timmy. 
Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. She's so cute. I love Timmy, her. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Sparrow. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. I'll do my best. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. We know. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Oh. Let's go! What could possibly go wrong? Oh god, he's just standing there, isn't he? <laughs> I'm back, Mr. Sparag. I... I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparag, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. That's good. Uh, hey, Unfortunately, this like little area looks like an arena, so Quick, I'm not. Smooth talking. I don't feel very confident. <sighs> to be or not to be—that is the question. <laughs> oh, I want to say that so badly. Uh. <sighs> think that there's a way to lose and or win this. In other words, I believe there's only one outcome, but I'm still afraid, so. We're not interested in stoking conflict. You seek peace. Understood. Nevertheless, your statement is unilateral. Thanks. My position will be determined after assessing the result of our negotiation. Okay. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. All right, all right, I get it. Uh, he cut you off completely. Shut the fuck up, Arch. This guy. Let me do it. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Okay. Uh. He has to know what it is, right? We hear about the Stellaron. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. Weird. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. Uh... I demand that you reveal your true intention. Okay, 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 okay. As expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Shut Out up. With it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. <sighs> uh, should I just be straight with it then? We must find the Stellaron. Uh, but I feel like he's going to cut us off if I say that. We want to bring this world's disasters to a close. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Fuck. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. I don't know if this is my fault or if this is genuinely. Your powers of calculation suck. Wait, we're not like those others. 
There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? <sighs> Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Clara, looks like we have to take action. After I mean, all. I knew this place looked like an arena. Type number so. three. Monitoring automaton Svarog. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. I don't like him very much. I hope we don't kill him, because I don't want to upset Clara. Move carefully. The truth of life and death reveal this sanctuary is but a vision. Shit. Well, okay, he's weak to fire as well, so. Ooh, wow, you hurt, man. Calculating result. Ooh, you really hurt, man. Um, Den Hung is lower. We'll put it on Den Hung. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Oh, you're not uh, weak to me. That's unfortunate. Time for a detailed overhaul. Huh? 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 Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Step aside. I'm so glad I have that no I control. leveled everyone up before I did this. <laughs> You can't run! Executing operation. <laughs> Can we talk about this, man? Try that again! I mean, then again, we just did try to talk about this, and that didn't really go over well, so. Watch this! God, the music is so good. Come one, come all. Threshold. Yo! Yo, ow! Okay, I wasn't supposed to beat him. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Hi! All of you, stay focused. Oh, he I'm went right to go get her. Alright, fine, you're fine. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. I never know what I never know Sampo. what he's doing. He's the definition. <laughs> be involved somehow. He's the definition of never let them know your next Base move. Breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Dude. So like move carefully. Are they here? Are they helping me? Or what? Are... What are we doing? The truth of life and death revealed this sanctuary is but a vision. Executing annihilation. Reinforcing. Can you not? Analysis complete. Ow. You can't run! Evaluating variables. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Well, that's not very chill of you, dog. Let's make it quick. Give her back! Come one, come all. Just a scratch. Executing okay. operation. Yes. No. Yeah, no, I got that. The time is now. Let's go. Okay. Um. Rules are made to be broken. Yes. 
Let's make it quick. Let's step aside. Dude, I'm I have stressed. No Batter up. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Go away. I don't think. I might as well just do this because Rules I don't think to she's gonna working. live. So I might as well get this out of the way. Push forward. Come on. Analysis complete. Okay, there goes. Try that again. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Individual. Ow. The truth of life and death Shut revealed in this up. sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, don't wait. Yeah, don't kill him. Clara, you, Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please, please don't hurt him. Okay, I won't. Please don't cry. <laughs> Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow. You said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? Why is this my fucking sad? Wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one. Clara's request. Variable two. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? The cost is too great. Clara seems like the only one who can break through Svarog's cold logic. It's a good thing she was here. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is we this fix it, him? Not Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. Yeah, this is fucking sad. It's up to you to make your own judgment about who's lying now. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. He's not gonna die, right? I don't... I don't want him to die. <laughs> Keep at it. I want him... I want him to live. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Let's have it. 
Requesting database materials cache. Serial number 13175. Encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept Old this Guardian. conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. So anyone who's the Guardian hears I it? I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless she gonna what? kill him? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely oh, destroy the Stellar. I don't know why I thought I was expecting her to turn around and kill him. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cash number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This supreme guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All the decisions are, are for the security of Bellabog. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <coughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy... <coughs> destroy the Stellaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cash number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number... Five, seven, six, one, four. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. Even the researcher? The young one? Oh. I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Is that... That's not her, right? Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. Who are these architects, One by day, the way? Somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cash number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right?
I'm a little confused. They were looking away for just to destroy it, right? That was the that was the goal. They were looking for a way to destroy the Celeron. And it would appear that they never succeeded. Well, yeah, I got that. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. This must be a lot to take in for you. Why? Why, mother? Maybe maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she Dude. I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Yeah. I, I really hope, uh... Mr. Svarog. Svarog will be are okay. Are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs <laughs> intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior mm -hmm. intact. Sleeping in. So your memory module is okay. I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Even the one about the <laughs> There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can no. I delete some of them? I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain in time. Why is this so cute? They are memories of family. I understand. Mr. Svarog, I still want to help you check a few other modules. I'm not Turn crying. around a little. You're crying. Why is this so cute? Keep at it. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> At daybreak, the guardian shall be a glittering God star, damn it. <laughs> illuminating the people's path. At nightfall, the guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Ah, oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? It'd be like hey, that sometimes, man. Maybe you should find someone to talk to. <laughs> someone like me? Don't let it get you down. Someone like Sila? You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? <laughs> Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. I don't do envy and etiquette down here. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied, it's all muddled together in my mind. I just, I don't know what I should believe. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? I'm so sad right now, Sampo. I'm not gonna your lie. My heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. I thought you left us. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. If the money's right, not a problem in sight. We haven't paid you. 
When did you call in for reinforcements? Ha! I knew that you'd get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. Pretty sensible, right? I'm asking why you went behind our backs. My assignment was simply to take you to Svarog's lair. I got the payment and delivered the goods. I wasn't obligated to tell you about my dinner plans. But I threw in something extra regardless. I only did that because we're friends, or I would have charged extra. All right. Thanks, Alpha. Here's a slice <laughs> of life experience for you. Resourceful businessmen never get into risky trading without a plan B. And a plan B for their plan B. Plan C, we call that. That's typically what comes after B, Sampo. You seem to enjoy muddying the waters. Hey, now, you got me all wrong. I just enjoy watching people fight. That's all. All right. Fierce words, fists flying. What's not to like? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Thank you, Sampo. Easy there. Don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. Ha ha ha. You see? Gotcha. <laughs> Seriously, though, Sampo will always I be happy Sampo. to assist you. <laughs> I don't trust him, but I love Sampo. We'll probably talk to her, wrap this up, and then wrap the video the up. Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. <laughs> Your support came at the right moment. Thank you. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. I already did. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Wait. Huh? Huh? Yeah! The real chief? What, what about Oleg? Huh? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. I knew that he helps me deal so with the MP I was gonna say I knew it, but I didn't know it. I meant the NPC him, isn't I'm the leader. Time for the people. I know that makes I sense. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, well, I was shit. formulating <laughs> a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. Oh shit. No. No. I don't like any of these options. <laughs> I don't like any of these options. These are all horrible. Okay, whatever. We did it for us. It wasn't as selfless as you made out. A person is defined by their actions alone. I think that's how the saying goes. If the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will see you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated yeah, from the we underground. Need, we need to figure out if a way to convert people. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. Um, it will be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Who? Sela. Oh, Sela. No, that makes sense. <laughs> Didn't she tell you? No. In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Aww. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. Yeah? Will she stand with us? It seems like the intel we got from Svarog caused her a significant shock. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. 
Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? Oh yeah. I've heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since really I think it's been two days. <laughs> Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're okay. lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Yeah! 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 So, now what? Go over everything with the group. Like here? Take a good rest while you still can. No, no, yeah, Your I got adventures that. Adventures on the surface. Oh, oh. Okay. So you're the leader of Wildfire. Don't be surprised. My job is just to help everyone make the right calls. You remember Rivet Town? When the Fragmentum Corrosion first appeared, we were defenseless. We didn't have a clue how to protect our homes. After we fled to Boulder Town, I made up my mind. A tragedy like that could never be allowed to happen again. That's why I gathered Oleg and the others together and created the first sparks of wildfire. Afterwards, wildfire began to grow. To be honest, I never thought a day like this would come. Your gentle doctor act is pretty good. <laughs> what do you mean? That's me too, you know. The me that my patients Dude, see, at least. I'm like, you just straight up Our identities are like cannon. masks. When we switch between them, we change the way the world perceives us. But our hearts never change. Sure. What's Wildfire's plan? Well, we don't want to act before the situation has stabilized. We need to wait for the right time. Ten years of being sealed away has sapped the Underworld's vitality. Now that the Furnace Core is no longer blocked off, we need to prioritize the people and replenish our resources. Wildfire has never been in this for its own gain. Everything we do is for the citizens of the Underworld. That passage is a means to an end, not the end itself. What about Claire and S Savar? Are, I, I don't know why I keep forgetting how to say his name. What about Clara and Savorg? We'll Savog. leave them be. Svrog. Svarog may have Sar blocked off Svarog. the Furnace Core, but he's provided shelter to the Vagrants from the beginning. I'm doing my best. <laughs> An admirable deed. There are many homeless people in the Underworld. If they had safety and security, they wouldn't have to struggle to survive. Wildfire can provide that while Svarog is recovering. I don't have any more questions. Things have settled for now. You should rest while you can. Sure. Um, do I still have to talk to... Are you gonna have anything How's new going, to say? partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill? I know your heart is burst. Okay, good. Easy there. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Then I think that about does it for this video. Um... Damn, that quest kind of got me. Hurt, made my heart hurty. It's okay, I love those though. Um, hold on, wait, what's this? Oh! Yay! Attacking enemies with physical weakness restores the Trailblazer's HP equal to 5% of the Trailblazer's attack. Fun. Okay. Well, that's all for this. Um... If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I never came up with an outro. So this has become my outro. So I'm um, yeah.